Okay, in this video we are going to discuss Digo and I'm going to show you how to add this little Digo let button. What that is when you click it, it brings up this quick access toolbar which allows you to highlight bookmark, sticky note, and also go into your library if you want. Um, but the hardest part is getting it up here in your favorites toolbar. Now I know that in module 2, the checklist, I have this link here which takes you to this document and it seems really easy all you do is you right click and actually why don't you do this with me um, the hardest part is when you get to step four it's a little confusing so if you could just go with me right now and um, we'll be good the first thing you'll need to make sure is that your favorites bar is turned on so if you right click up here in this blue area make sure your favorites bar is checked then what you're gonna do is go ahead and right click this little button right here and hit add to favorites and then just say add and what that just did is it dropped it right here in your favorites but we want it on the toolbar so they just say here um, be sure to save the favorites in your favorites um, bar but they don't show you how to do that so to do that you're gonna go to favorites organize favorites and then right here you'll see Deagolette. All you're going to do is click and drag it right on here. Now I'm not going to do it because I already have it. And then once you do that, this little button should be on your favorites bar. Now if you don't see it, it may be because you have so many favorites up here in your toolbar. So you may have to right click some of these and delete some of them. Because you may have a big long list going super far that we can't see everything that's up here. So you may have to clean it up a little bit in order to see this. So then how do you use it? Once you find an article, like for example this architecture article, as soon as I click on Deagolette, this toolbar should pop up. Now yours may say you need to sign in. If you haven't created an account yet, you'll need to go to Deagol first and create an account. And then once you've done that, you'll just click sign in and a little box will pop up and it'll ask you for your Digo username and password. Once you type that in, these options should show up. And again, you can click on highlight. I can change if I drop down the menu. Oh, it's down here for some reason, but you can change the color of the highlighter. So then I can highlight certain information. Then I can also add a sticky note. And then I can add that and I can hit post. Now, um, you want to make sure that, and I forgot to talk about this in the group yesterday, you want to make sure that you make sure that it's not private and that you're adding it to your group that you're sharing it with. So if I hit post, now that um, sticky note is there. And when I double click it, I can see it. Now, If you don't see, come on, well, let me open it. There we go. If you don't see collaborative spaces, it's because you haven't made a group yet. Um, so you you probably have to create that group for your class in a classroom situation. So you can go ahead and do that and make sure that it's not private. That's in a classroom situation when you have students um, in a group. And if you don't know what I'm talking about yet, you just got to watch the groups video um, that's in the, um, let me go to that. There was that video, this video, using the Digo to create a collaborative space for student work. So you just have to watch that and then you'll know what I'm talking about with the groups. Otherwise, that is it. I just want to do that quick little um, discussion on how to, or tutorial, I'm sorry, on how to add the Deagle app button because it was a little confusing.